Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. So today we're over at Pop and Son's store. They have a bunch of signings going on for their anniversary as well as a bunch more fun. So we're going to be taking a look in the store, showing off some of the stuff in the signings. So let's go inside. All right, guys, this is inside. We got Casper over there. Then we have uh, Chrissy over there. Oh my gosh, the name is like blanking on me. Crocodile. <laughs> it's right there in my face. John as well. And then Rob is on break right now as well. This is Ronnie. Yo, what up? <laughs> so guys, they actually had these t-shirts for sale. Uh, they had a cross guild one with uh, Buggy, Crocodile, and Mihawk. Where's Mihawk? Uh, oh, he's right there on the side there. It was only 20 bucks and I thought it was pretty cool. And then they also made some custom acrylic uh, stacks for this too. So here's one of the Crocodile ones. Has the bounty on the back, which is pretty cool. And some more artwork on the side there. All right guys, the voice of Crocodile here signing a pop that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. And uh, he, he he thought of a quote himself for it. I've, uh, I've actually never done this uh, quote before. Oh, really? What is the quote? It says, I am judge, I am jury, I am executioner. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. We always get a doodle. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. There's another look at this, guys. Love the little doodle on the side. Definitely pretty cool. Fun little signature, too. And I'll be giving this away over on my Whatnot stream. So, again, make sure to bookmark that show. There's a link down below in the description box. Sign up. And uh, this is definitely going to be a fun giveaway. All right, guys. So, fun fact with Robert McCollum. If you didn't know, obviously, he voices a lot of anime characters. We got Team Gohan there. Uh, Rhina, we also have Stain, Doflamingo there, Julius, Jalal, Psychopaths. Uh, he's the OG Baki, not the new one. Basically, as you can see, lots of anime. And then you go all the way down here, and he was the Boppet Blast. He was the voice on the Boppet Blast. If you didn't know that, that's a fun fact. Uh, I was talking to him about it. That's really cool, actually. And he's also Axton from Borderlands, which I didn't know that either. All right, guys, I picked up one more pop here. It is Doflamingo signed. It says, don't worry. I'll, uh, you know, that word, everyone. I don't want to get demonetized. But uh, check this out. Little doodle on the side. Definitely really fun. So stay tuned for this giveaway, too. Doflamingo. Crocodile. Laugh off battle. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Crocodile wins! I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, they have four different celebrities here doing some signings and all that. But nonetheless, we're also going to take a look around the store, see what new items they have and pops and all that. And as you can see, they have a lot. There is so much. I think I want to start off with this case here. It has a lot of exclusives and rare pops here. So I'm already noticing something at the top here that I haven't seen before. What is that? Playhouse exclusive for Thailand? That's a pretty cool sticker. It's huge, but yeah, I've never seen that before. Over here, we have Captain America, the ECCC exclusive, Freddy Funko Merlin, uh, Shoto Chase. We have some Godfather pops up there. It looks like some of the OG ones. Spider-Man Chase. We have a couple older Star Wars. Throw Killer Batman, pretty cool one. It's kind of echoey back here, sorry guys. Uh, Grinning Ultron, that's a pretty cool one. Agent Carter, they plan to do something else with Ultron, I believe, with a Disney Plus series, I think. Sniper King Chase, Gelatinous Cube, those are such cool pops. I saw the proto of that and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so freaking neat. What do we got down here? Some Descendants, uh, Sanford and Son, what is that? Cause X fan, is that what that says? Michi? Interesting, cool sticker. Uh, what else? We got another Captain America, Wong with the Comic-Con sticker, Tony Stark, Scrubs. I always forget those have pops. Uh, we got Batman from the Dark Knight trilogy, Sapper Chase, a couple of different WWE, Vanya, Monkey King there, Burning Godzilla, Gaston. On this other side, guys, we have some Talladega Nights. Looks like it goes over here, too. Spider-Woman with that con sticker. That is a hard find. What else we got? We got Khabib. That's pretty cool. Frankie with the silver nose. A couple more Walking Dead. Negan, Daryl, and Teddy Bear Girl. Uh, Felix Hernandez. Ben. Princess Leia there. Sons Anarchy. Those are hard to find too. This guy, I gotta like zoom out. I'm so close here. 
Um, it's kind of hard to see with the glare now that I think about it. Interesting. Okay, so over here they have a bunch of horror pops. I don't remember them having a horror section, so this is pretty cool. Just kind of doing a quick little scan for you guys. Jason, some Chucky pops. Got the Pennywise exclusive. Bunch of Pennywise. Oh my gosh, they must have got a collection in recently. We also have the 2018 uh, Rhode Island Comic Con one. Bunch of killer clowns, Pet Cemetery, Freddy Krueger. Check out this rare find, guys. We have Tony's convertible from Scarface. That's a definitely a pop I haven't seen in a hot minute. What is this from 2014? Wow. It's actually in pretty decent condition for 10 years. Back here, we have lots of video game pops. We have some Overwatch, Fortnite, Fallout 4. We got Elder Scrolls, World of Warcraft, Avatar kind of mixed in. Diablo there is pretty nice. I actually wanted this Diablo, and then I realized he has some front damage there on the side, which kind of sucks. Plus, he, he looks... Is it weird that he kind of looks a little, like, cutesy? I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but, like, he, he doesn't look menacing for Diablo, you know? Anyways, though, a few more video game pops they have. We have, like, the Freddy Barnes & Noble schools. It's kind of hard to see with all the glare. Mr. Hippo, Funtime Foxy, some more Skyrim, Borderlands. Then we have some 8-bit stuff, Tiny Tina, all kinds of fun stuff there. Some Jurassic Park and World, Indiana Jones, and Lord of the Rings and Avatar. Here's their anime section, guys. We have Frankie, Sanji, Sniper King, Zoro back there. It looks like an Armored Luffy SE. Caesar Clown, love this pop. Marco there, Nico Robin, Orobi, Jackal Mihawk. I would love for them to bring in Mihawk for a signing. Armored Chopper Chase, Luffy Gear 4, Chopper Amon, another Chopper. We have some Seven Deadly Sins down here, a couple Fairy Tail, bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is always nice. And we also have a bunch of Demon Slayer over here, some Trigon. Ooh, look at that. Look at all those Simpsons pops. Pretty cool. SpongeBob. Bunch of Harry Potter, it looks like, too. Um, what do we got? Bob's Burgers. Stranger Things, obviously. They do have one of the uh, celebrities here. What do we got? Pokemon here. Up here, guys, they have some Hunter Hunter. We have Golden Freak, some of the new Phantom Troop, Komagi, Crollo, Illumi, Secre there from Black Clover. We got the uh, exclusive as well. Look at that. Limited to 15,000. That's so many. <laughs> uh, but Black Clover, always nice. Moving on to some sports pops. We do have lots of different ones. We have a couple boxing over here. Mike Tyson there. Would love to have that sign. That'd be really cool. Uh, we have a bunch of basketball. Check this out. There's so many. NFL. I'll just kind of scan over all of these sports ones since there's so many. But all kinds of different players. Let me know if you guys collect any sports pops. So if you're ever looking for any crazy grails, they definitely have them here. Limited to 480 pieces. And look at this custom case. And that is crazy. That's like a... I think that's like a $3,000 piece, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's close to that. We also have this Gryffindor piece here. Bailey really wants the Slytherin cover for that uh, Harry Potter set. Over here, guys, is their grail case. I like to show this off, too. We have a bunch of Haunted Mansion glow-in-the-dark pops. Taxi Driver, Golden Frieza, Metallic Thing, that new Two-Face Freddy, Ghost Rider. We also have Asuna, Sorcerer Mickey, Oogie Boogie Glow, uh, some Book of Life Pops, a bunch of Sonic, Marvel, Merida, Stitch, Hero Killer Stain, lots of anime in here. Rukia, Ichigo. We have the pre-releases there, Tony Stark. And over here, guys, are lots of other grails. Look at that Fen from Adventure Time, so expensive. Good place there. Back to the Future, Marty McFly, Sasha. Give you guys a quick scan here. Kill Bill, you don't see those all the time. Dobby, Ahsoka Sign, Beavis and Butthead, the originals. Over on this wall, we have lots of Disney and other stuff mixed in. We have Anna there, uh, the 2014 con exclusive. Look at that sticker. Oh my gosh. Some more Frozen, Haunted Mansion, a couple of two packs over there. We got some Muppets, Care Bears, Nightmare for Christmas, Pumpkin King. Does anyone know what that smells like? Let me know. Uh, we got the Jack Skellington Funko exclusive, uh, some Tailspin Pops, Chef Figments, pretty cool Disney Parks one. Bunch of Nickelodeon here, Hercules, some Tron, more Haunted Mansion. Oh, Gravity Falls, nice. Jimmy Neutron. I'm actually thinking about getting that one signed next month over at PopCon. I'm thinking about that. Then down here, we have a couple more two-packs and like deluxes, as well as uh, some pop and tea bundles. Got that Demon Slayer four-pack. 
bunch more exclusive multi-packs too. Back in this display case, guys, they have a bunch of the black light pops. We have some uh, Animaniacs. Uh, we also have a bunch of Freddy Funkos, as you can see. The Cavity Sand one was actually pretty unique for sure. That was a great choice. We have King Randor. What do we got? Martian, Conductor, Baseball Freddy, all kinds. Batman down there. And then down here, we actually have some fun Yu-Gi-Oh ones. Tinkerbell among them. So we have Slifer. Obelisk as well as Winged Dragon of Raw, definitely an awesome set there. Hey guys, so just a quick little cut in here. So basically half of this video was a pop hunt and showing off the signing a little bit, getting some things signed for you guys to give away, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. And the other half of this video you're about to see the next like 13-14 minutes, both the voice actors for Crocodile and Doflamingo actually sat down and learned how to play the One Piece trading card game a little bit. And I figured that'd be fun little footage for you guys to watch. So if you guys are interested in seeing that footage, you guys can go ahead and watch. And if you're not, you can go ahead and skip to the end of the video. All right guys, we have Crocodile and Doflamingo learning how to play the One Piece game, or the card game. First time ever. All right. In One Piece, we look at our hands, and since we've already decided who goes first. Oh, yeah. this. Right? Yeah, yep, 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 your five cards. And you're going to decide whether or not to mulligan. Well, mulligan means you get to, if you don't like your hands or do something that's not good, real quick, you know, obviously your first time oh, we're still right. right. If, if it's a good hand or not, you're allowed to do one mulligan. So, only so how does one know if one has a good hand? What am I aspiring well, to? Well, when you're, um, when you understand the game a little better, well, you'll start looking at this, and I would keep this hand. Okay. Ah. And then I'm going to look at, ah, why do I feel here? a mulligan come on? <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. This is actually going to be interesting. So then, what we do is we look at our leaders and we see how much life they have. Yours is four. Yours is five. So what we're going to do then is for you, they'll take five. You'll take four. And we're going to place them like so in the life pile. You did your first two. We'll put four for you and five for you. Where so will I put you? So you're going to put them right here. It's just a three, three, four, four. Perfect. Five. five. This is good. I love this. this is good. <laughs> Pictures are really pretty though. All right, so you were decided to go first. So on your first turn, you do not get to draw. Okay. What you do get to do is put one of these down. One of these? Yep, that's what we call the Don. Boom. So in this game, you have a resource called Don. Don, you have 10 of max. Okay. You draw one on your first turn. Since you're going second, you will draw two. When it's your turn. Okay. Then from here on out, you'll continue to draw Three. two. Two, two, two. two. Yeah, because okay. what so will happen one, is two, 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 two. Right. So what will happen is you'll be on your you're on the odd curve. One, you'll be on the even curve. Three, then your next turn will be or uh, okay. two, three, four, etc. Get it? Okay. Right. Oh, so it's not two, two, two. It's one. You'll two, still draw three. two, but you will be on an odd curve because he straight. drew one first. Get it? Yeah. This represents the number up here in your corner. That's the cost of the card. Okay, so to play the card, you would have to use that amount of dollar. So, the, so if it was a two, this is 2,000? If it was a two, you would need two dollars. Two cards. Two, two full cards, cards. Okay. to play. Okay. Since you're going first, your opening hand is to play this card. All right. And so where do I play it? So first we're going to say, I use one done. I use one done. And the reason we turn it sideways is in this game, we, we no use it to, Exactly. We realize if they use the expand wheel, can't use it again. And we'll play it up here on the top there. Boom. So that is a Perona for 2,000. So this card has a ability, an on-play ability. If you read, once it's played on the field, you'll be allowed to draw the top five cards of your deck. And for you, you're going to look at them and you're going to decide, do I want these on the top and what order? Or do I want it on the bottom? Maybe they're all bad and I don't want any of these cards. On the bottom of the pool, cards um, they're going to. So what we'll do is put your hand down. Okay. Draw five cards. Draw five cards. So let's do the first one. We're drawing five. This is in one piece, we call it a searcher. His is a little different of a searcher because the. Okay. It's very specific. So these are the five cards that this has allowed me to get. So my suggestion would be to keep it. And what we want to do is put this on the top. And then honestly, any of this can kind of for right now. Okay. The reason for it is we want we want this in hand. 
So now this you, more than this. Yes. And we'll we'll explain later. Okay. If you ever get the user, we'll explain later. <laughs> why, okay. So then you decided you're gonna put the five on top. So I now know what my next. Draw you know what your be. next five cards I got. Mm -hmm. On your first turns, you cannot attack. So and whenever a character is played on the field, we call it summoning sickness. They don't live, they can't do anything. They can't attack, they just kind of sit there. They do, if they have an ability like yours did, you do the ability, but they can't attack on their first turn. This is your advantage, you'll draw two of those. And we'll flip them over so you can see the pretty picture on them. Oh, that's not the, I see. Yeah, yep, yep. That's just the card. That's just the sleeve. Okay. For you going second, your advantage over your opponent is you get to draw one. How many? Just one. This is your version of Yours is going to be a little different. See how when he drew five, we put it on the top. Yours is you're going to draw five, but you can choose which one you want and just put it through. Five here. Yep. You use two. For example, it says look at the top five cards of your deck. Okay. Oh. That's hear that it's big. That's big, actually very big. That's uh so what that's what do, P. Diddy said. Uh, what we do here is you go, I want to choose one of my real forks characters, which is on the bottom. Former Okay. We're gonna choose him. This is a very good card. Put these back. What you'll do is put these at the bottom. Because you got the you got the one you wanted, now the other four are gonna go to the bottom. Keeps pulling Bong Clay cards. Oh, don't don't say that. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good card to have. Okay. And again, on your first turn, you can't attack. It's just not something you can do. So in this case, you would pass to your opponent. Once he gets back. Pass. Pass. So it's like the combination of some of the gameplay of both of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so he passed. It's now your turn. So what we do is your beginning phrase is the refresh phrase. So anything that's turned sideways, go back to five. Yep. Here, which we know, that's gonna we know what it's going to be. Yeah. Great. Then we're going to draw two. Now you can do something. Yeah. So, so like this being your third turn, we're now able to attack. No longer restricted by that, that nonsense. Dopey can attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can attack. The way it works here is there's a number of power. Yeah. Yeah. If it's the same, like if he swings five and five, you have to counter it. The way I like this uh, rhyme it is if it meets, it creeps. So if I attacked him with this, yes. He's got to He's got to defend time. himself. Right. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make him defend a little more, maybe instead of just because, for example, you only need to defend with one card if you swing to five. If you attach your Don, you'll notice the bottom will say your turn plus a thousand. Right. We could put this, for example, on the Dopey and make so him a six thousand. Six thousand. And then you could swing at him for six thousand. Now, I'm going to be. Where you be a little bit of a cheater. Your guys is bigger than each time the Dopey's has an extreme way for When you attach one and you attack here, hello, you can hello. look at the top card. Yeah. Yeah. You you know, one card from your deck. Mm -hmm. If it is a seven warlords of the sea type character card, if it costs a four or less, you may play that card. Rested. Rested. Rested means. Yeah. Played sideways. Okay. There's already too many rules. There's yeah. already way too many rules. I have no, no idea what's going on. <laughs> That's fair. But I'm gonna I'm a little, I'm a little lost myself. I'm gonna win. It's okay. Well, it, just, it does get it, it, it'll start it. We don't want to do that this turn. Not this turn. Okay. Right. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna spread our attacks. Let's swing instead of swinging at him for eight. Let's swing at him for five. And get the three. The four. So she can also be. No. Oh, so I get to take two attacks this turn. So we're going to do two attacks this turn. Okay. Now, whoever you want to swing first is up to you. Usually in this game, you'll go, okay, I'm going to attack either life or something that's rested on the board. Now he has nothing rested, so the only thing you can attack is that is his life. Okay. So now we're going to look at Brock's hand. So if I kill him here, I've won. It's over. It's over. But I don't think you're fingers gonna... crossed. I don't think you're killing him. Here. <laughs> now we don't want to use that. No, that's what, what I'm saying. What, what, what we'll do? <laughs> when we're defending, 
We're gonna look at the side of these cards. See how it says counter on some of them and some of them don't? Mm -hmm. Counter means you can add that number to to this, to your power, to defend out of it. However, if you do that, it goes in the trash. So you're burning it if you want to use it to counter. Right. This is okay. right. So in your situation, yes. I would this is your use this okay. uh, or you can yeah. take yeah. one hit. I don't want to take both. We don't want to take both. That's too late for that. You can counter out of one. Yeah. So what we do is you would show your opponent. He's countering. Counter. Yeah. yeah. Trash. I'm countering. <laughs> Dopey's now done. So now he's we're going to... Nope, nope, nope. He's going to say, this way we know he's swung and he, okay. he can no longer do anything. I knew that. So now we're going to have burn attack. So now I'm going in for five again. It's a light. And we'll... Rest her so this way he knows who's attacking. Uh, that's five. Mm -hmm. He's attacking me. Now, we, we, we can, but we'd rather if you play the card. Something, do it right. So if you use it, you got trash. So what we'd rather do here, yeah. we're going to pray that car this is where Carpet Off signs up. So we're going to see if it, if it gets lucky. We're going to take the life. It's a risky move, I know, but we're going to do it. What is that? You're going to take this hit. You're going to look at the card. Okay, so at the bottom of this card specifically, see where it says trigger? Mm -hmm. Whenever something comes out of your life, you, you can activate the trigger. Now, if you want to use this trigger, we say trigger, show them the card, and then do whatever the card is, and we will trash it. If we don't want to use it, in this case, I would hold on to it. So you just tell them no trigger, and you'll put it straight to your hand. No trigger. Okay. You're officially done. There's nothing more you can do. So, five versus five. Yep. And he's not added to it anyway. Nope. So what he did is he took the life. So he took a life. So and I'm now taking down, one, one of his four lives. And now he's down to three. Okay. All right. So again, you have nothing left when to I do. Can I lose all those lives in my dead? Not entirely. Once huh. you lose all of them, so, once you lose all of them, you can take one more hit. And if you take one more hit, then you're we want to play. We absolutely want to play. So we'll use all four of these. Do I leave these in the position they're in? Mm -hmm. Okay. This way it, it, it lets us know that the character is being used. And I'll show you why here in a second. Because the hammer's got to come down. That's right. All right. That's right. Can I put it down? You can. You're going to play. So he has Boom! an interesting ability. He's called a ramper. What's going to happen here is he gets one extra double play. So now he's ahead of you, Don. Right. Because of that. So now what we're going to do, and remember when they first come out, they can't attack. Right. What you want to do is you're going to swing two into his character. So he can't do that again to you. Unless he wants to defend him, of course. But that's what I would do. So the additional 3,000 is only on your attack. turn. Yep. Okay. So, so now, now she's back to two. So it's two to two. And if it meets a creep, so your your call is do I want to keep the character or just let everybody get to Gotcha. So I would have to defend with some of these. Yeah, I would have to count it. Yeah. And in this case, again, since he's it's meeting, you don't have to count. Yeah, that's it. Now you have two of those in hand. Yeah. You can counter it, but at the same time, you're also a five life leader. And you already have the agency. The, the lead, so to speak. So losing this, this goes into trash. These three will go back here. Go back into my dog. And since he attacked a character, you don't lose life, but the character is off. Right. right. That's done. Yeah. So since my gut would be, since that is only a two thousand, so I would be okay. So just let it go. Right. That's my instinct. Is that That's feel right? I would to do you? the same thing. Okay. I would do the same thing. So this is dead. These come back here, and he's won that attack. Yep. But now he has. One more attack. And he's got an additional attack because he's mm -hmm. got that. Oh, yeah. He has his leader who can swing, and he has this, which we will put John that Don onto the leader, correct? Yep. Which Don? Which Don? So these this are put to the side, the one that's active, and you're going to swing at his leader, his life, for six. Right. So now you would have to counter out with seven. Yes. So either you have 2,000 in your hand, mm -hmm. which I do, you do, or you think to yourself, well, I'm you have life ahead. ahead. You're life ahead. Do I want to sacrifice one of these or just maybe take the hit and draw the card? So if I play this, it's it go, it'll go through the trash. It's trash. Because you're using him essentially to defend yourself, which right. is kind of ironic. 
I love it. I yeah. kind of want to do it for that reason. Just for that reason. I kind of want to, yeah. All right. I'm going to play a crocodile <laughs> against crocodile <laughs> to defend Del Flamingo. Nope. Boom. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up today's video. I do want to thank Pops and Sons so much for inviting me over. I had a lot of fun. It was fun meeting uh, Crocodile's voice actor for the first time, as well as Doflamingo's voice actor for the second or third time now. It's been a couple times. Either way though, it was a fun little in-store event for sure. So if you guys ever get the chance to attend one, they're definitely having more in the future. So make sure to give them a follow over on their Instagram for more updates. Now, the things I picked up for you guys, just a quick reminder. We did actually get two autographs. We have Crocodile and Doflamingo both with quotes. And if I can get that on the side there with little doodles on the side. And both of these will be given away on my upcoming Whatnot live stream over on October 19th. I showed it off a little bit earlier in the video. I want you guys to go bookmark that. Or if you haven't signed up yet, make sure to sign up with the link down below in my description box. You'll get a free $15 off your first purchase. And something else fun that I actually picked up was for a friend and it was a signed Jalal here. That was the quote she wanted. And this was the first time uh, Rob ever actually attempted trying to draw his like facial marking there. And I think it turned out pretty good. So in the future, he might do this for you if he doesn't have a crazy long line. Well guys, that's everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do wanna end things off by saying a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon and Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocked updates, links, and more. And finally, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.